everybody. Today we're going to talk about the Zoom whiteboard feature. Before we can even get started though, we got to go turn it on in your Zoom account. So you're going to go to zoom.com, log in, go to settings, then choose in meeting basic, and then scroll down until you see annotation and whiteboard. You want all of those on. Then there's the allow saving for shared screens with annotations. You want to check that if you want to save what you actually do on the whiteboard after the meeting's over. Only the user who is sharing can annotate. When that's turned on, it prevents other meeting attendees from using the whiteboard while the presentation is going on. Depending on what you want to do, you might want to turn that on or you might want to turn that off. If you want a group class project, you'll want to turn it off. And as for the whiteboard, the allow saving whiteboard content. Again, it does the same thing. You want to turn that on so you save what the whiteboard has on it before you're done. Once you've done all that, then you can go and start your meeting. Once your meeting is started, you turn on the whiteboard, you go to share screen, which is the green button at the bottom, and then you'll choose whiteboard and share. That should bring up the whiteboard. Now, under the draw option, you get to choose your marker style, your width, your colors. Now, using a mouse is a bit tricky to right on the whiteboard, but a touch screen or laptop touch pad actually works halfway decent. And you can write just like you would on a standard whiteboard. For those of you with horrible handwriting like myself, the text feature is very useful. You can just type in what you want and then click off and it's there. There's some stamp options, which you can use to highlight or checkbox or arrow to different features on your written on the whiteboard. Good for highlighting important information. The spotlight is a laser pointer, so just like you would point to different parts of your presentation on a whiteboard, the laser pointer, it does the same thing. The eraser is exactly what it says, you can erase what you've done. There's the clear option, it erases the entire board, so everything goes away. Save is exactly that, saves your presentation, and that's pretty much it. When you are done with the whiteboard, you use the stop share button at the bottom, the little red one, and you're out of the whiteboard. The whiteboard contents will not be available to after the meeting is ended, and then you'll see a file get saved and it'll be available. So that's all, and see you next time.